Evening, welcome to Falcon Blues TV, Everton 1, Notts Forest, yes, Notts Forest, nil, at the city grounds, uh, brilliant result for Everton, Paul has just done a video at the city grounds where he just said he can leave me to do the analysis for it, and rightly so, because he's probably going to have had a few, and just to talk about the game, I thought it was a tough game against a tough, tough side, you know, Forest have been playing fairly well, I know the, the results haven't been going their way, but they're, they're a tough side to break down, especially at home. So, for us to get the win, to get us to get three points and get us get us relatively back where we should be getting into into and getting out of safety, that's the perfect result. This was the game I'd have rather played than playing Man United last week. I definitely, you know, that 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 one was a tough game last week at United, which we all know. But full credit to everyone. Everyone went went and played their part. Uh, James Garner just grew into the game and was outstanding absolutely all over the place and deserved his um, man of the match Dwight McNeil who hasn't been playing very well for recent weeks which we know he struggled he struggled since coming back from injury but he'll always pop up with something he'll always be available always makes himself available in games so that goal was an absolute thunder cunt as well absolutely snotted it and deserved the goal um, big shout out to the defence to the defence, Michalenko, uh, Tarkovsky, Branthwaite, and yes, Ashley Young. You know, I, I think he struggled with Alanga in the first opening 20 minutes, but then settled into it. I don't think Alanga really bothered him too much, which was good to see. Jordan Pickford made a couple of big saves that he needed to, but he wasn't troubled too much, which was good to see. You know, but that's credit to the the, the four in front of him. Um, and I think we just deserved the, the win. I know there'll, there'll be that, that penalty shout from Steve Cooper who looked, <laughs> someone said he looks like he's just constantly getting out of a headlock. So he was probably part of, part of headlock gate. Um, but yeah, he'll go on about that penalty. But for me, I think he's he's fell the wrong way and he's not going to get it. I don't think it's a penalty. He's gra Yeah, he's grabbed his shirt, but he's made too much of it. So, no. You know, and then there's, there's going to be that shout of, well, why didn't, um, why didn't the, guy, the lad who came on in the second half, why wasn't he given a second yellow? So you, you're going to give that opinion and say, well, it's probably, you know, we should have got, we, we got out of jail with the penalty, but then that's something going our way. But then the lads shouldn't have been on the pitch, so we should have been down to 10 and we'd have been probably a, a little bit better. So in reality, Everton move into 11th because we sh that's exactly where we should be. We should be on 17 points. Um, obviously, they've talked about the appeal going in this week, which, you know, by rights, we should see some reduction in the points. But I said to Barney the other day, and we said on the podcast, that we shouldn't be hoping and pinning our hopes on the fact that these 10 points are going to come back. It may not. So it's on Everton. It's on the team. It's on the players. It's on the manager to make sure that we're picking up the points, be it on the road, be it at home. Especially, we've got a big game on Thursday against Newcastle, which is going to be tough. The crowd's got to be right behind it. And again, play the game, not the occasion. And... You know, I th I'm going to go in because it's freezing. But other than that, I think Everton's result today was, you know, it was a, it was a hard-fought win. We deserved it. I don't, uh, you know, the chances we had in the opening 30 minutes there in the first half probably could have won, won us the game. You know, McNeil's had that one cleared off the line. And, yeah, I, you, you, you can't help but be happy with that. I think, you know, Dice played that the right way. You know, Beto having to come in was... You know he's got he's got a, he's got a lot to learn about the Premier League, but he stuck at it. He kept going. He didn't let his head go down, and we we've, we've got the three points, and that's all that matters. You know you know like you say Thursday is going to be tough. The lights have gone off, so that's why they want to get rid of me in this place. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's my cue. That's the lights going. So yeah, three uh, three points, one nil on the road. Fucking brilliant! Another away win. So what, to everyone coming back on the coach, you know, safe journey back. It's going to be a fucking cold one. You're not going to probably get back till about 11 o'clock. But till then, up the fucking toffees, Colin Chong, subscribe to the channel and all that stuff. And I'll speak to you on Thursday.